What if you could build a business that gives you the life of freedom you deserve? What if you could find the secrets to marketing, leadership, customer service, and other aspects of business that help you exceed your goals? What if you could walk away from your business for 30 days and it never misses a beat? That's what this podcast is for, to help business leaders like you find freedom from the day-to-day grind and start spending your time doing the things you love. I'm Levi McClendon, and my co-host is Josh Taylor, and this is the Cheers to Freedom podcast. Hey, welcome to the Cheers to Freedom podcast. I am Josh Taylor, and I am with my co-host, Levi McClendon. Levi, we took a little bit of a break, but now we're back at it. And how are you? I am excellent, and I'm excited to be back. Yeah, we took a little break. Uh, obviously, we had the show, the ICA show, which was awesome. And then I think a lot of us got sick after the show. I don't know why. Um, so I was a little under the weather and wanted to take a little break, but uh, we're excited to be back and uh, and hitting it, hitting it hard here, hitting it strong. So let's do this. Yeah, I think... We've got we've got a great um, episode today. It's super practical, especially for people that are using OpSpot. So if you're not using OpSpot, you might want to listen to some of these ideas that we're going to throw out and uh, and think about it. Because uh, Levi, you talk about all the time. Just tell us again what has what is the one good thing that coronavirus <laughs> did for QR codes? <laughs> right. I'm like there is a silver lining to. There's a couple silver linings actually to coronavirus. Um, but the one we're going to focus on today are the QR codes, right? So it is completely accelerated the use of these codes. And what's funny, even before coronavirus, I started seeing QR codes at places like McDonald's and Starbucks. And I was actually showing my wife, I took a picture once and I said, watch, QR codes are going to make a, they're going to make a comeback because about 10, 12 years ago, they tried here in the States, they tried to start using them, but we weren't ready. We didn't have, you know, the cameras weren't set up for it um, on our phones. You had to download an yeah, you app. Had to, like, download an app. Yeah, you had to download an app to do it. And, and thanks to obviously the, you know, uh, Google and, and Apple and stuff for making the cameras super easy, you just pop open a camera. But that timing was perfect right into coronavirus. And all of a sudden you couldn't do anything, right? You couldn't eat, couldn't see a menu. You couldn't do anything without scanning the code. So I think it's, you know, it's been really good now in our space to be able to utilize those QR codes now to make things easier for our customers. Yeah. So because it's so simple now, we've been using them a lot with our customers and uh, we're going to give you five. Actually, we're going to give you six because we have a bonus at the end. Uh, We're calling it five, but we're calling it five. (laughs) Uh, but we're going to give you five ways that a simple QR code can help your car wash business grow. In fact, I think it will cause your car wash business to grow if you're utilizing them in more than just uh, one simple way that everybody seems to kind of use them. Yeah, Josh, you said uh, five and, and then you get, you gave it away. You said we're giving a bonus. I thought we were going to yeah. wait and kind of keep that for the well, end. Well, this but... is what happens with our communication. So. Uh... <laughs> But that's right. But well, I didn't say we, what we the we bonus have five is. Really good and a bonus. Um, uh, QR. Uh, so ways you got to use stick around codes, and listen so. to the whole thing for the bonus. That's you right. Can't, you can't push the little open, fast forward button on it. Open that story loop. I like it. So, all right. So, I, I do have a question before we jump into this, Levi. What are your thoughts between you know everybody's trying to push the wash clubs, the membership clubs, the unlimited clubs, and we'll talk about that word unlimited in another episode. But they're always trying to push that. And so every time people ask us, hey, I'm going to put a QR code on this. Can you give us a link to our Unlimited Club? You always push back with that because you don't think that that for the most part, you know, we're, we're not going to say exclusively, but for the most part, people shouldn't be pushing their QR codes to the Unlimited Clubs. Tell us why. It's a debatable subject. That is for sure. And I talked to a lot of customers about it. And, and I think because they want Unlimited customers so badly that they kind of lose sight of what the point is of exchanging data, right, for the wash. And so for me, and, and let's get into this, Josh. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and reveal the first one we're going to talk about because this comes up a lot. The, so we're going to talk. The first one is going to be air fresheners and dash wipes, okay? These are things that customers give out all the time. And if you're giving these out without a call to action on that, I feel like that's, again, you're just wasting your money. You might as well, as Dan Kennedy would say, take a $20 bill, put it in the toilet, and flush it, right? There is no call to action. There's no direct response. There call to action on that dash wipe or air freshener. So recently, because, again, QR codes are so easy to do, we're having our customers put those QR codes. And so the, the question or the debate now is, do we promote the unlimited or do we promote the free wash? We are so about the free wash. And the reason why, Josh, is that it is a perfect lead generation, lead generator. Mm-hmm. It's a perfect what they call lead magnet or lost, you know, lost leader, whatever that looks like. It is the thing that's going to get the most people 
in your database, and I will put money on it. If you had 500 dash wipes that said go unlimited, okay, and you had 500 dash wipes with a QR code that said free car wash, you know, $25 value on it, which one of those is going to be scanned more often? I'm going to guarantee you, I'm just throwing this out there right now, it's going to be the free car wash. And here's why. If I am coming to your wash and I want to sign up for Unlimited, okay, I'm not doing it off of scanning a a, a dash wipe, right? There's customer service agents. There's plenty of ways at the pay station, right? A lot of these pay stations now, man, I just throw in a credit card. It's LPR and I'm good to go. So I feel that's just wasting your money. And the point of getting somebody into your database who is a non-member, okay, is to build a relationship with that customer. And when they're ready to buy, when they're ready to make that decision, as you've educated them through the messaging that we're going to do for them, that's when you need to be in front of them. So I think, in my opinion, I think it's a waste to put your membership on there and you should 100% of the time put a free wash. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, studies have shown that, most people will give up their email address or their phone number for about as quickly or as easily as they'll give up 20 or 30 bucks. So I, I, I think that uh, we've got to um, make sure that we're using – you're right. Car washes have the perfect lead generator, the perfect loss leader. $20, $30 car wash is the perfect lead generator. So go ahead and get people into that. And like you said, we're going to use our text campaign that we're building out for our customers to build that relationship with customers because we're asking them to make a commitment when we're, when we're getting them into that monthly wash. And so in order for people to do that, they, you know, we're not jumping into relationships and commitments with people we don't know and we don't trust. And so you've got to build that relationship with those and getting people into that free wash text club is the perfect way to do that. Josh, and real quick, a lot of our customers are worried that they have other signage. We have stuff on their website. We have other uh, media um, advertisement that we're doing to to get that free wash. And they're worried mm-hmm. that, gosh, we're just giving away all these free washes. It's not the case. Yeah. Our system and many systems out there, they limit how many free washes a phone number can have. And people aren't giving you, you know, they don't carry a bunch of phone numbers. Some people carry two or two or three, but most of the time it's one. So in our system, we limit that. So if I've come in from your website, right, if I opted in on the website, which we promote, and then I come in and I scan that dash wipe, it's not going to let me get another free wash. The goal is to yeah. get them into that club. Now, the cool thing is, though, they can share that. And we have a customer right now when we were at the show, they showed us a, a air freshener with perforation on it. It was mm-hmm. pretty cool that you could literally, you know, tear off take off the bottom of it yeah. take off the bottom so we're working on a qr code that you could actually give that away to somebody which i think is a mm-hmm. pretty cool idea so we're going to track that and of course everything we do at opswat is tracked and so every qr code is going to have a different unique keyword associated so that you're going to know where those leads are coming in in the first place so anyway yeah all right, absolutely that's it's one. a great referral opportunity too uh so yeah, number absolutely. one is dash wipes and air fresheners number two is uh tunnel closures tell us about how you can use a qr code for tunnel closures yeah we did this recently and i know tyler slaughter with camel um with talk car wash had put it up not too long ago because it was a great idea it was his idea so we can't take the credit for it but when tunnels unexpectedly close down right Now, first of all, if you have a database, we like to send out text messages to your marketing prospects and say, hey, our tunnel's closed today. That's part of the service. And your members send out a text. Communicating is huge. But there's a lot of people that aren't going to get that text. They're not in the club. They're driving by even your drive-bys. And if they come by the wash, right, it's an inconvenience. They came all the way over and they want to wash. And so what Tyler was doing was um, handing out paper coupons, right? So really hard to track. He was giving to their managers. They were just handing them out. Hey, come back and see us. You're not, and number one, you're not exchanging anybody's phone number, right? So even if there were the, the prospects coming in, you're handing them a piece of paper, they're leaving. Hey, we're sorry, we're down, that type of thing. So what we did is we built out um, a, basically a real easy system that uh, two different ways. You can either do it on an iPad, just to throw this out this way. Tyler did it. They have it on iPads that you can enter the customer's phone number, and that's what their CSAs are going to do, send them that, that, that wash. But we also recently have done this for other, other customers. Just get a lanyard with the QR code on it, right? They can scan it. So as customers are coming in, you're engaging with them, and you're just, hey, here's a QR code. Scan this code or even do a Windmaster, A-frame, whatever it is. Have that available so when that tunnel is down, and people are coming by, they can scan that code and get a free wash to come back. So I think that's a really, really good idea. 
There's a couple of things that that does. One, obviously, it lessens the inconvenience, that, that blow of them showing up, and, and they're frustrated that, the, that they showed up and the wash isn't open. Uh, but the other thing that it does, and we've talked about this with the story brand framework, as the guide, you want to express empathy. So it shows that you understand that it was an inconvenience. Like, hey, you just showed up to do business with us, and we weren't ready and for whatever reason. And a lot of times, that's just out of your control. This is a great way to show empathy, saying, hey, this sucks, but we're going to yeah. give you a free wash, so please give us a, a second chance. So it's a great opportunity. Um, here's another one that I really love this idea is the scavenger hunt. Uh, tell us about this idea of the scavenger hunt. Yeah, so I'm glad you like the idea because it was actually my idea. Was it your idea? <laughs> good, good. Well, I, we, I love we it. Did a, job. We, we uh, you, not you to got take one. credit for it. Um, I come up with some crazy stuff, of course. That's just the way my mind works. I'm always like, how do we – you know, make things better and easier for our customers and get a little bit unique. And then this one's kind of cool. So there's two different types of scavenger hunts that I'm going to talk about. Uh, the first one, Josh, you and I have done several on-sites now, right? So um, the one thing that we've discovered while we're doing these on-site strategy sessions is that a lot of the customers don't have any idea that there are other amenities available, such as air for your tires, such as the, the mat cleaners, right? Like they're kind of hidden over in the corner. I talk to so many people and they're like, I had no idea that the mat cleaners were even there. And that's where we've consulted with our customers said, hey, let's work on some signage and educating those customers that you have these amenities. You have the mat cleaners. We even have a customer that has a big old ice chest of, of what are they preconditioned? There you go. Towels, right? With some like Windex based, you know, solution. It's really nice for them. They don't even know a lot of times that they can use those, those towels. And so anyway, my, one of the ideas and, and, that came up. This one happened to be mine, but another one was somebody else on our team. But but this was on site where you scan a QR at the different places and you 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 can win prizes, right? So it's kind of a scavenger, like an Easter egg hunt almost. I thought about doing this during Easter even where you would you would create this kind of feeling of wherever you go and there's a hint on the next one, you would scan a code at the different stations, the different places at your car wash, which obviously are going to educate the consumer on the different things that you provide there, right? And then give them some type of reward um, at the at the end of it. So and you're gamifying it, which is why right. that Pokemon game, you know, a few years ago was so popular was because people were gamifying this thing on their phone and they're they're getting all these points, they're getting these rewards. And so it's a fun way. It's something that parents can do with their kids. It's it, it's you know, it's an opportunity for people to win some sort of prize and, and have some great prizes. Give away, you know, gift cards or even give away something big like a TV or something like that just to get people involved. Absolutely. And, and and one thing I'm constantly trying to talk to our customers about is educating consumers about the chemicals that are going on their car, right? What is it that they're actually paying for? And imagine even in this, putting a QR code on the chemical room, right? Like, so, so they don't even know what that is. Most customers go through, go through the wash, go do their thing. But imagine now that you put this QR code somewhere near there on the, on the door, in the bathroom, you know, do the bathrooms, do the chemical room, and they scan it, and they have to watch a 30-second video, and it may be even as a breakdown of the chemical room, right? So hmm. to me, this is educational. These are the things happening. It's a great idea. Because at the end of that, now I get my next clue for where I need to scan next. And so that's making those customers go through that. And again, gamifying the situation at the same time, educating those consumers, even on the, you know, the mat cleaners, how to use them. Um, and, and again, that the air pressure thing. So I think depending on your amenities around your, your place, I think it could be um, really fun. And like you say, give away some really cool prizes and get people involved. That's not that hard to do. Um, and then the other one that one of our, our, um, team members came up with was those who have multiple locations in a certain area, right? If you have four or five, you know, or three, four or five locations, um, put a QR code at every one of your locations and, and they have to scan. It's like maybe the first, you know, whatever, 20 people to scan every location wins, right? And so they have to go to each location and maybe there's somebody there and they're greeting them and they have the QR code and like, you know, it's a race, not to be crazy on the highways, but Make it fun, make it exciting. And now you've educated them. You know what? Oh, I didn't know that there were multiple locations. There's other places to go. And again, along the way, you're engaging with them and you get to educate them if you want. So I think that, I thought that was a really cool idea as well. I, I love so. that idea. It's, it's, that's super fun. And yeah, make it super exciting. Just have fun with it. Let your employees have fun with it. And speaking of employees, the next idea is a contest for your employees and how you can use QR codes 
uh, to help your employees get into this and, and gamify even for them of, of signing people up into the text club? Yeah, we're so big on obviously building the database, right? Building the database. And I will tell you, people, as you all who are listening to this, uh, know that people are extremely motivated by games, right? By competition. It's not always money. Now, money is good. But if you have like a leaderboard, even um, people see their sales, and, and, you know, at the top, they want to go for it. They're going to get people to opt in. So with our program, you can actually give each individual, each employee a, their own QR code. When somebody scans that code and it could just, you know, hey, you're giving away free washes. It's not that hard to do. You know, hey, your next wash is on us, right? Scan this code. When they scan that code, it's tracked back to that employee. And in our system, we are tracking that for you. And there's no reason you guys cannot be gamifying this and rewarding. Maybe maybe you have three or four locations or 10 locations, and you're going to run a contest for the week. And the winner of, you know, whoever gets the most opt-ins for this location wins a pizza party. Or the individual, the top, you know, uh, employee you know, they win a bonus and you can use gift links, you can use gift cards, you can do different things to reward them. And again, make it fun, have a leaderboard. And again, that is all being tracked in the back office. So I think that's a really good idea. And I promise you, your engagement for opt-ins will skyrocket. Yeah. And it'll give your employees something fun to do. Uh, and you've got some great things where you found where you can print like QR codes on pins and stuff like that. So they can keep that on their pin. And, and we'll talk more about how you can do that in just a second. There's one. Um, There's one. There's that, oh, there it example. is right there. Yeah. So yeah. look at that. So the, you can, that literally is a pin on the back. So we printed these off just to test and, and mess around with. And you can scan, you could literally pin that to your shirt and have somebody uh, scan that or put it on a lanyard or anything. So there's a lot of different ways to make that happen. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, so the next one, the, the number five, that's not the bonus yet. Is, and this one isn't about the text club. This is about feedback, the feedback generator. Uh, so let's talk about this and why something like this at your wash, especially in your, like your vacuum stations is really important. Yeah, I think people just want to be heard a lot of times, Josh. Um, and if there's not an easy way for them to be heard, a lot of times they'll just leave angry, right? They're just mad. The, the vacuums weren't working right. There were spots left on the car, didn't dry well enough, but they just, they're just frustrated. And, and unfortunately, a lot of times those people will go and give you the bad reviews. And so making things easier for your customers. Now we have a, what's called our private reviews program that if they're part of the text club and redeem a car wash, we generally will send out a text asking them to rate, you know, hey, rate your experience one to five. But that's not always the case. You have a lot of people coming through that aren't redeeming a, a, a wash and you need to make it easy for them to be able to give feedback. And so by, by doing like a big A-frame or Windmaster, um, there, there's a lot of different ideas that you could do. And, and uh, you know, Josh, you came up with a couple of taglines that you could put on the signage that's over by the vacuum areas. That's, that's outside the end of the tunnel. And again, they could just scan to give feedback. And in that form, you're going to give them a platform, right? You're going to give them a place where they can give you feedback. Now, if you're going to collect feedback and not get back to the customer, I don't recommend using this. But if you're going to get that feedback and you're going to actually respond to that customer, that's going to go a very long way and hopefully avoid some one, two, and three stars, right? And you're going to hopefully uh, uh, turn that situation around and uh, and make a, a raving fan out of a maybe a potentially uh, – ticked off customer. Yeah. So you can print it up on a, on a magnet and stick it on a, a pole in your vacuum area or something like that. And I would do a headline that just says, how would you make our wash better? Scan this QR code and let us know. And they can simply scan it. Maybe they'll give you some positive feedback. Hey, you know, it's not things that'll help, you know, have you thought about this or our cars don't come out as dry as you think they do. And so towels would be great. Uh, or, you know, your employees are not super engaging or something like that. Like there's a lot of thing that, that managers and, and owners, they're so busy, they don't notice or they don't see what their customers see. And so getting that feedback, like you said, the customers feeling heard goes a long way. And it keeps bad reviews from ending up on Google or Yelp or something like that because they feel like they've had an outlet that they could get to the owners for without having to go to Google to get their attention. So uh, I think it's a great idea. Well, and I think that that you being the the guide, right, make them, again, this is all, you know, we're the guide, they're the hero, and those those headliners are important. You know, how can we improve your experience? It's about you. It's about the customer, and we're here for you. We're listening. We're you know we're we're trying to make it better for you. So um, those types of headliners, I think, are really good, and it's hopefully going to engage those customers and give them that platform. So I like it. Yeah. 
So here's our bonus one. And I, I love this one because I think it might have been my idea. Uh, we did this with our shirts it at was. the shows. And then we've we've talked to several of our customers about it. And they loved this idea because everybody gives away. I mean, they give their employees T-shirts or sh some sort of shirt. And so I would just get some some really nice T-shirts, some quality T-shirts that your employees don't mind wearing around. And remember, they're going to work, but then they're going to go to Walmart or they're going to go out to eat or something right after work and they're not going to change their clothes. So what if you had on the back of their shirt that says, get a free car wash. And then it was a QR code for somebody to scan it while they're sitting in line. You know, maybe they're in line at a fast food place or, you know, they're walking around Walmart and they're sitting in line at Walmart and somebody's just sitting there and say, get a free wash. Hmm, let me scan it. You Absolutely. know, people are curious with a, when a QR code is just there anyway. So people are going to scan it. So what if all of your employees are going to get shirts anyway, you had get a free wash, had your logo, the name of your car wash and a QR code for them to scan it, to get into your text club. So now they don't have to be on your site to get a free wash. Now, now your employees are walking billboards. Well, and I think you get a bunch of shirts printed up, right? Like, like thousands at a really, really cheap price. And that's part of your giveaways to customers coming through your wash. And now, Hey, you're, you're making these, these micro marketers, these advocates going out there. People love free stuff. So, yeah. you know, give them, give them a shirt with your logo on it and, and free wash on the back. Why not? So when you think about the price that, 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 I guess the value, not the price, but the value of a phone number coming in through the free wash and converting, we've always talked that number is around 12 to $13 you know, you can make a return on that. And so, but yeah, I love that with the employees, Josh, you could even do a that unique QR code for those employees when you print those on those shirts, possibly. I don't know how that, you know, but and, now and that's make like it a little bit shirt. more expensive, but <laughs> I, I may be wearing that shirt like everywhere, I, you know, to church yeah, even, right? Exactly. I'm wearing church people behind me are, are, are scanning the code. And I think I have my mm -hmm. shirt on. Oh yeah, there it is. And so this obviously got we can't code. give away free car washes, although we could for our, for our customers. But um, no, I but think we that wear those around the show, and, and and people scan it, and yeah. it goes right into our funnels. Yeah, yeah. So this it is about the funnel. It's about getting people into the funnel. So these are just easy ways. So that was that's the bonus. We do have customers doing that now, so we'll be tracking that. Like I said, and to be able to track where those are coming in, it allows you to track your ROI. It allows you to to spend time and money on the things that are working. And that is super important in your marketing, especially today is where are you spending your money that's going to give you your biggest return. And we hope that these five plus a bonus, easy ways to use these QR codes are gonna help you grow your business. Yeah. Well, hey, before we end, I want to ask our listeners to do one thing. And, and this is really important for you to do because uh, we want you to be the first to know about some things that are coming up. We've got a really exciting year. And we've got some really exciting things coming up. We're not going to tell you what they are right now because we're still ironing out the details. But if you subscribe to our podcast, you will be one of the first to know when we reveal these things out. So if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to YouTube. If you're listening on the audio, you know, wherever you're listening, make sure you subscribe to that so you get notified when the next episode go, goes live. Uh, because I'm not sure which episode we're going to be announcing these things that are, that are going to be rolling out. But we want to make sure that you're the first to know. So make sure that you subscribe. And uh, it, because we really do want you to be the first to know. And, and our listeners are super important to us uh, because we're the one, you guys are the ones that I feel like are really into doing things different. And these ideas that we're going to be rolling out, and they're not just ideas, they're actually things that we want you to be a part of uh, that are going to be rolling out are, are going to be different ideas that I think are going to change the industry. Yeah, ab absolutely. We're very excited about it. Make sure to text cheers to the number 411365, so that's 411365. Type in cheers, hit send, so you'll also be able to get the information to be able to subscribe and uh, kind of be the first to know and make sure you're, you're getting the alerts when we're dropping our next episodes. Um, and so we appreciate you listening and being a part of the uh, Cheers Freedom Podcast. All right, but hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.